Hey guys, this is the real Spartan 9001 here, and I'm here for Let's Play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum, Episode 1. Yes, I'm starting up another Yu-Gi-Oh! based theme game. And you may be wondering why, and I'll get to that as soon as the game gets by and I get past the tutorial. I skip the intro screen again, because, you know, it takes too long. They really should have a skip button or something. So basically, all that you need to know so far is I picked the fire deck, and uh, yeah, fire, and Joey's using fire, so yeah. This game you're actually playing as Yugi. Now, I have a lot to say right now, as uh, I the last video I uploaded was three days ago, and even though my channel does say, you know, uploads daily, so yeah, I have stuff to talk about. I'll let the people talk. Yes, and it is saying Yami Yugi instead of just your Yugi. And don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you just because you're my friend. I'm not holding anything back. Then let's get started, Joy. Yes, let the shadow duel be. Oh wait, no, you can't do shadow duels in a uh, capsule monsters. If you've never played this game before, it's kind of like Fire Emblem instead of Yu-Gi-Oh. Also, running joke, I will be picking this card every time. Because this card somehow... It usually wins. I don't get why. I'll be attacking first. I'll pick attack first at every single opportunity I get. So yeah, uh, fire deck runs fire monsters mostly, and wind monsters secondary. The way I'm going to be playing it is uh, wind monsters mostly, fire monsters secondary. And I'll tell you why after you know this stupid tutorial thing okay i'll select my monsters to play with. or should you know i just say it better Wait i'll explain it better than they do so basically you see that mp on the uh, next to the monster picture and the mp bar at the top basically you can pick a certain amount of monsters as you can see up the top top right of the screen which says 0 out of 6 i can pick 6 monsters as long as they're below 270 complete MP. So I can pick, you know, low cost monsters and whatnot. Now, the reason that fire and wind are good for this deck is because you see that boost down there, that little arrow that says 181 and then brackets 154? That's because it gets a 20% boost, or such and such, because, you know, this piece has less symbol AE rate than normal. Don't worry if this is all confusing, you'll understand eventually. Even if you know I am a terrible teacher. So yeah, pieces get boosts and whatnot. The reason why wind is better is because wind has better AE rate normally for pretty much everything. And it doesn't have as low protection points and bad AP plus as other pieces does. Uh, I guess we'll explain this further. Um, yeah, I'm just delaying everything. I, don't, I probably shouldn't pick up, you know, super strong monsters. First duel. Yeah, I'll pick five monsters. No, no flame vipers. And here's something I hate about the game. Uh, the camera is forever at diagonal. Like, forever diagonally. You can't make it, you know, anything else. You, if you can use the camera tilt buttons... But that only does you this much. You can't, you know, place it directly behind. Until you're, like, moving the pieces. So this piece can move four, the four places forwards and attack one diagonally. So you want to place it so that it's at a good position. I might place it down here. Now, this is, like, planning. One, two, three. Well, that's pretty much as close as I can place it going to be placing both these here so they can, you know, help each other. Fire grass can go... You know what, I'll just stack them around here. Also, terrain is something to factor into. This is 25 water, so it's going to decrease the power of fire monsters. This one moves diagonally and attacks vertically, so I'm just going to move it over here. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll be talking about the reason of uh, 
why stuff's happening. It's time. Yep, you need AP to move monsters. So, so uh, yep, yeah, first turn is just summoning stuff, usually. So, you need to take care of how much AP plus you get when you summon a monster. Example, these ones will give 30, which is good for the start. Basically, you just want to start by summoning your monsters to get all the AP plus so you can have a wider variety of expendable fuel, I guess you could call it, for your future turns. Yes, my pieces have taken command. And now Joey takes his turn. Joey uses fire, only fire. He has four fire reapers, and that's all he has. You're gonna see what Joey Wheel is all about. Yeah, failing. I'm so sorry, Joey, but you know, you cannot activate your uh, special ability, which is Brooklyn Rage. Because, you know, it's kind of illegal. So yeah, he just has fire reapers. They move two spaces and attack two spaces vertically and horizontally in a straight line. Yes, AP increases by the amount of AP plus you get per turn, which is capped off at some number that doesn't tell you. But you can pretty much see once the AP plus, you know, doesn't increase any further. Example, this would put it on 307, and it's on 300, so yeah, you know that now. So he has nothing that can attack me right now, because uh, the closest he could get is here or here. So I'm pretty much untouchable for a bit, because, you know, these pieces have big range. Movement range, that is. Six spaces away. So I couldn't attack him either. Oh, damn, I'm tired. For some reason, recording makes me tired. It shouldn't really, because, you know, this is not strenuous. Now, Joey is being a complete clod and moving his symbol away, which takes up 50 points, because that's how much it costs to move the symbol. I mean, you can. I guess he's just being cautious and doesn't want me to attack with Drollbird. Now, here's kind of where you need to think, oh, do I want to move this piece or not? Because he can move and attack Drollbird right here. I could attack him with this one, but then I'd be under I could be under fire from both this Fire Reaper and this Fire Reaper. So I this piece would probably die. So right now I'm going to just go defensive and move it so that I'm five spaces away from him so he can't hit me. One, two one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is complete safe, completely safe as well. And yes, it's power increased. So, yeah, wind monsters like water. Fire is the ally of wind because, uh, fire gets rid of wood, which is strong against wind, and wind gets rid of, wind gets rid of water, which is strong against fire. That's pretty much this turn. So, as I was saying, uh, why am I doing two Yu-Gi-Oh games in a row? The reason for that is that I was going to record Maximo Ghost to Glory for the PS2 on this channel. But I own it on the PS3, so yeah, because I got the uh, re-release. And for that, I need a specific cable. A cable that plugs into the back of the PS3 that has the red, white, and yellow things on it. And uh, I don't know where that is. It is somewhere in my garage, but you know... I don't know where it is because, you know, I've moved house since the last time I used that thing. Because I've just been using the HDMI cable because they're better for, you know, general using. Not better for recording because I can't use those to record. Right. So, yeah. Uh, until I, you know, get a cable or something like that or find where it is, you know, I, I just generally can't record anything for the PS3. Which is a shame because, uh, I cannot record uh, Ratchet & Clank 2 either, because I own that on the PS3 as well. Because my PS2 version is, a. Uh... Actually, I do not know where that went. It's, it's somewhere. So yeah, basically, uh, 
all PS3 stuff is on hold until I either find a cable or, you know, get a new one. Now this guy has placed his Fire Reaper in the exact wrong position for me to attack with my, uh, Karama, or whatever it's called. God damn. Uh, one, one, two, one, two. So yeah, I'm just going to play defensively here for a while. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can do for now. I don't want any of my pieces to die, because, you know, you, you take as much time as you will, just make sure not to die. Pieces that are destroyed in this game will be returned to... Uh, in two, after two duels. Oh no, after the next duel. So I can't use any of the pieces that die in the next duel I'm doing. Which is really not that threatening because, you know. Uh, it's, next duel isn't really that threatening at all. Now let's see, what should I do? Joey's actually placed his pieces in a really good position. I'll give him props on that. Also, I can't move here because it's not valid space. If you press start, you can see exactly where you can move. The green space are the ones you can't move on. But, you know, that, that kind of messes up with the graphics. It doesn't make it look good. Joey, have patience. Like, you know, I, 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 I'm thinking... God damn it, he's he, he's kind of locked me in a corner here. You know what? All out assault. Let's go. Also, I'll be turning the animations off, and I'll tell you why. Because this disc is practically on death's door. It's, it's kind of messed up. How messed up is it? Um, I can't fuse in this game. If I try to fuse in this game, it, uh, you know, the game crashes. So, as you can probably guess, fire does a lot of damage and wind's power is boosted in attack factor by fire symbol, so... In this game session that I'm doing, you're going to see a lot of damage dealt. That's just basically the playstyle of fire. Also, you may be wondering why the title of this video is Two Years Later. Yes, I've guessed the title and I'm naming it Two Years Later. That's because I have a little story behind that. No, it's not. You failed, Joey. It's because, uh... Let me just... I'm gonna take some damage here. Because uh, back in the old days, like a while back, when I actually got my Dazzle, I was planning to record several things. Uh, one of them was going to be this game, because I like this game, and it's, it's, it's pretty good. I've played, uh, like, a lot of it, because I like strategy games. Yes, you got the first kill, but that doesn't mean anything, Joey. Because, uh... Uh, yeah. Okay, I, I'll let you judge what happens. Like, you can judge what you want. I don't care about saying it. I used to go to this, like, kind of tournament thing, weekly thing, where we, uh, like, uh, uh how do I word this correctly? Uh, a bunch of people gathered and we played Yu-Gi-Oh! to, like, stuff for fun and junk. It was, a, it was a pretty good time, you know, back in those days, but, you know, I kind of left after the uh, TCG kind of went in. It went into a slump, and it, some of the stuff's got, you know, ruined. Wow, what was that? Was that the disc, or was that my recording? I can't tell which one it is. Something just messed up there. I think that was my recording, but I'm sorry if that turned out terribly. So yeah, uh, me and a bunch of people used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! in this place. It, it was a fun time. And, uh... 
one of the things I was going to do was like, oh, you know what, I'm going to be making this video. Uh, and, yeah. I actually asked one of my friends over there to say, and to like, hey, I'm going to be playing this game. What type should I make it? And he said, oh, uh, you should make it, you know, win, because I use a win deck, and I'd like that. And I'd be like, you know what, if I used fire, which is the deck that I used to play, I'll use wind mostly, because that's how like, fire deck works. So, yeah. That was, like, two years ago or something. Or a year and a half. Or it, it was ages ago. That was back when I was still using my old channel. Old channel, please do not look up. And, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, Joey, you've lost. So, yeah. Two years ago, I planned on recording this game, and uh, now I'm actually recording it. So, yeah. I'm going to be using wind monsters, as promised. Mostly. I haven't heard from those guys in quite a while. Maybe I should, you know, contact them or something. But, you know, I have no real way of contacting them. I guess I could send a YouTube message, but, you know... YouTube is YouTube message is absolute garbage. And I'm going to take 130 damage, but that doesn't matter because, you know, my monster isn't going to die anytime soon. I wasn't concentrating. I was concentrating. I had that perfectly planned out. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. If any of you wonder why I said eggs like that, don't worry. It's a joke that it's 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 it is funny joke. By the way, Wind Monsters also has pretty good defense. So basically, they're better than Fire Monsters in every single way, except, you know, they're less kamikaze prone. I'm just gonna feed this Fire Reaper some, uh, Fire Grass. Reapers eat grass, you know, that's how the world works. You may be wondering why I'm not bothering to attack that Fire Reaper, and that's because if you kill a symbol with a level 1 monster, you gain 100 experience, so that monster levels up. No, no, you're attacking my fire grass that I can easily move out of the way. And crackle. Snack crackle pop. That was a lot of damage. No, it was not. Like, when I hit some enemy with 700 damage with an overpowered monster on an underpowered enemy, that's, like, a lot of damage. Let's deal a bit of damage here now, shall we? 120 damage to his 200 HP symbol. <laughs> Just killing it in two hits, that's so funny. Man, that's not even funny. Shut up, Joey, you don't know comedy. <laughs> and yes, that was a scripted joke. By scripted, I mean I just came up with it on the spot, because I know that's what he says when you attack his symbol. I am a nerd, but I don't care. And now Fire Reaper has not enough range to kill anything, because Fire Grass has superior movement range. And Joey Symbol cannot move anywhere to get away from Droll Bird. Just give up, accept your fate. This bloody fountain is causing my recording to screw up. And I don't know if it's my recording or my disc, because either one is possible, because my disc is screwed up beyond belief. And uh, my recording, you know, it, it isn't that perfect. I can only record in 480p as well. Still putting this up in MPEG-2 format because it works. This game's graphics are pretty good, though. You know what? I'm going to give Karama the level up. By the way, Yugi does say that every time you would do the final attack. It's kind of annoying, but you know you can skip it, I guess. Which is fine by me. Ah, I guess this is the end of the line. End of the line. I 
lost, Yugi. But Joey, you fought valiantly. Yeah, you killed one piece. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. Maybe that's why I don't feel that bad that I lost. You feel terribly. You can't lie to me, Joey. Yeah, you. Don't you be losing any other duels, all right? No, I won't lose any other duels, you know. You because, uh... This game is more balanced than Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses, and I'll tell you why. Because this game doesn't have no stupid graveyard slot machine or overpowered Mai in this game. And this is the level up screen. You actually get to see what stats increase. Basically, you want to increase symbol AE rate and uh, AP plus defense and, and attack. That's Landform AE rate and map AE rate is okay. You don't really want AP or MP or... Actually, no, you want PP to increase as well. Hehe, <laughs> PP. I totally didn't steal that joke. Every time I say I totally didn't steal that joke, it means I stole that joke from someone. I will now say a random joke from someone that you will not understand. Also, you gain experience when you beat the enemy. This is the only way to increase the experience of your symbol, which you really want to do because that means that you grow a lot stronger. End of the duel, you get to choose a piece to take. Or two pieces, and eventually three pieces. So I'm checking which one has the most experience. This one has 22. This one has... these both have two, so it doesn't matter. Hey, Yugi! What's wrong, Joey? There's something I forgot to tell you about this tournament. There are five opponents in each area. And if you don't beat them all, you can't move on. So basically, read the instruction book. That means... I just defeated you, Joey, so I... Enough with the ellipses! And if you clear four areas... A new path? What's that? Like I know. Well, just... And maybe it'll all make sense later. Thanks, Joey. Yeah, beat their butts! Uh, butts. Now it is rated, uh, PG. I don't know what the new... But we're traveling... No matter who... And we'll do it together! Yeah. Yay, with the power of the Millennium Items. Yeah, I'm never going to make that reference, by the way. And now I'm going to save my data. <laughs> Why the heck do I have a file called dollars, 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 money, dollars, 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 swag, dollars, dollars, dollars? What? Actually, I do know why I have a file named that. It's because it's a Vine Source reference. If you don't get that reference, then you don't watch Vine Source. And it was said ironically, so yeah, it makes it better. Select load on the title screen, which I will be doing. In the net, no, I will not be doing that in the next episode because I'm recording more than one episode at once. However, you won't know because I'm just going to cut the episode here. Not right now, of course. Ugh. So, stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the... No, not Duels of the Roses. That was the last Let's Play. Stay tuned for Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. Where we fight Tristan. Yes, Tristan. He sucked ass in the last game. Will he suck ass in this game? That's not even a question. Of course he will. So stay tuned. See you in the next one. Bye.